everybody and a holiday weekend to boot. So funny man Greg Coleman is here to get it started and get it started right. What's and up? We're in luck, folks, because his mother is with him, so he mm. won't offend everyone. In not the everybody. Room. Maybe not. But we're going to start, Greg, with a story that had all of us kind of at a loss this morning. Here's yeah. how mm -hmm. this one goes. At the end of every school year, this thing happens. They give out the superlatives, you know, most likely to be president, most likely to become famous. Well, this poor girl in the mock award ceremony at her school was given the award by her teacher, the most likely to become a terrorist. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I said. Her yeah. teachers even gave her a certificate saying so. The child was horrified, her mother was furious, and those teachers involved at that junior high school in Channel View, Texas, are in big trouble. Yeah. What say you? It's, <laughs> How do you respond to that? It's horrible because even though they were joking about you're most likely to be a terrorist, now you probably realistically gave someone a reason to want to become a terrorist, right? Like, that's what I would terrorize people if they're like, oh, you're going to be a terrorist. We're just joking. In what world is that? Like, like would the not teacher okay. be like, well, it's Texas. It did happen in Texas, so, you know. I think the follow-up question is, like, why'd you pick me? Like, what, what did I do to receive even the joke, the butt of the joke, you know? You're, you're in yeah. schools? Yeah, well, I mean, well, I would give all of them. They're, <laughs> like, not most likely to become terrorists. All of you are little terrorists right now. Terror. Like, give Different. everyone, yes. everyone one. You can't put the ist on it. You just got to say, all of you are tiny little terrorists. That's what I think happened, that the teacher <laughs> didn't even know what the word meant. Yeah, it was, a, it was a horrible teacher. Like a little, yeah, a little bit of. <laughs> totally overboard. Uh, another one that's a little overboard here. All right, what's going on? This one? Yeah. This is a big one this week. Greg Gianforte, right? Mm -hmm. Congressman. Congressman. Mm -hmm. Congressman mm -hmm. Greg Gianforte. So this is the guy who just won the special election for Montana's open house seat. He's also the guy charged with assaulting a reporter. That reporter described it as a, quote, body slam. Gianforte, gracious in victory, though, apologizing for the incident during his victory speech last night. So that was nice. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask me any questions, either one of you. You always do this. Whoa. You always do this. I'm okay, trying everything to get me not to body time. slam anybody. That was horrible. This is, whatever, politics is now WWE, right? It's the exact same thing, and all you got to do is put out a tweet. Like, he's, he's, he's going to be doing whatever he's doing in Montana. Like, if this is somewhere else, I care more, but it's Montana, so... You know, like it's not acceptable behavior, but it's also Montana. We had a pro wrestler as our gov governor. Nobody got body slammed. And that's like probably me. why things didn't change. He should have started body slamming people <laughs> when things could have changed. I like this guy's approach a little bit. I don't like him <laughs> personally, but I get it. Y'all might want to body slam somebody time to time. He takes the Kanye way of things. He takes the Kanye <laughs> way. So you get a little nerdy reporter in glasses, and you're like, what do I do? He's making me mad. Oh, poof. Brutal. Yeah, I no, hope you don't get terrible. body slammed by any kids. Like in your next. <laughs> in your kids. <laughs> your next kid piece. That would, be, that would be horrible. It's it's though, he's setting that example, though. You yeah, know, but so. that dude, yeah, let's fire that dude, too. Fire right. that guy, fire the teachers, let's fire everybody. Everybody's fired. That sounds like a TV show that's already happened. Anyway, ready for the hot new pickup line on dating apps? You ready for this? Mm -hmm. This is the hot new line. Write it down. You All can right. bring a pencil. I got the hot new pickup line is, I'm going to Whole Foods. Want me to pick you up anything? Mm. It was smooth, even... wasn't it? It's that's actually smooth. a quote from the show Master of None, but it's become this go-to line apparently for a growing number of online daters careful though it's become so trendy people are catching on that you're too lazy to come up with your own pickup line mm. but i don't know how this is a pickup line yeah what is it you're mean? smooth because it's just like uh, go to whole foods it's something safe so i can go to whole foods want me to get you something it's 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 the classier you up like that's yeah. what it is it's <laughs> it the is brand you new <laughs> you up but it's like hey you up i'm going to whole foods Want me to pick me up something so I can come to your house and we can eat it together and be healthy? That's a <laughs> lot of assumptions of, I don't know, That's someone a, I was interested in, like, I'm going to Whole Foods, like, yeah. good for you? Oh, no, you missed that one. Oh. You missed that. That ship is sailed. I but missed it, you up, too. Yeah, it's all right, though. You know, you missed you up, too? Yeah. Oh, we need to go have a conference right now. <laughs> I was going like, to catch you up to speed. I always answer the next day. I'm like, what do you mean? Oh, no, it's for real. Like, if I say, like, hey... I'm making a kale salad. That's pretty much saying like, hey, let's get married, right? <laughs> it's the exact same thing. You got to know who you're dealing with. It's better than, hey, I'm going huh. to McDonald's. You want anything, right? It depends. Like, what time is that tweet? If it's at <laughs> three in the morning, I'm like, of course, I want all of the McDonald's. 
All of it. You're like, yes, date number one. Yep, Bring back me. Exactly. Back. I don't think that counts as a date, but it, I messed you up, so what do I know? I don't know. You know a lot of things, All but right. it's okay. That's true. Thank you very much. All right, if you want to catch this live and in person, because it's so hilarious, better close up. Mm -hmm. You can check them out next Friday at the Spring Street Tavern in Minneapolis or June 8th at the Joke Joint Comedy Club. Yeah, buy Saint tickets. Hall. Go to my website, ColeMcComedy.com. <laughs> Hey, it's good that you got. I tried to get that website. Yeah, actually, yeah, I got one. You tried to buy it from me. Yeah. You tried to buy it at ColemanComedy.com. <laughs> I did. And it's gonna go to yours. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry. I should stop saying ColemanComedy.com. I'm gonna text you later. I'm a body slam foods? you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we're going. We're out of time.